Hey y'all, I'm Anna, and I want to say welcome to orchestra. This is for the cellists that are in North Gwinnett Middle School and Cruz Middle School. And you know how lucky you guys are. I'm so glad you're joining the orchestra program, and I'm so glad you chose the cello. Today we're going to do a video on how to unpack the cello. This is like the very first thing you're going to do when you get your cello, and I want to make sure you know all the right ways to handle it. Now, the first thing I, you need to know is that honestly, if I line up 10 different cellos in 10 different cases, they're all going to be just a little bit different. So yours may not look exactly like mine. That's okay. But you will 99.9% .9 of the time have a soft case like this. And the first thing you always want to do, first things first, is find the bow. You may have one bow holder, you may have two. The bow comes out first. That's the number one rule you have to imagine. It's really easy to break a bow if you don't take it out first. So we're going to take it out and we're just going to set it to the side because we're not too worried about that today. And then you're going to find the zipper. Now, some cases have a zipper that runs top to bottom. Some run all the way around the bottom. This particular cello has two zippers that run from the top about three quarters of the way down. So make sure when you're operating the zippers, you always have one hand holding the cello. It's actually really easy for this thing to get away from you if you're not careful. So I'm holding on with one hand. I've unzipped everything. I'm gonna reach in and grab the neck. Again, I'm always gonna be holding on. And I'm gonna start just peeling this off. Now with this case, it's gonna be such a piece of cake. I'm just gonna lift the cello right out of it. In other situations, if your case doesn't unzip across the top, then you'll lift the entire case off the cello, kind of like a coat in the winter time. Just lift it off the top. And then you can lay it somewhere on the floor. You've taken the bow out, so nothing in there is gonna break. When you're ready to set your cello up to play, you're gonna take it, lay it across your lap, holding on with one hand, don't forget that part, and this is the end pin. You unscrew the end here and you're gonna pull it out. Now the question of the day is how far should you pull it out? Well, it depends on how tall you are. It depends on how long your torso is. This is what I want for you. When you hold your cello, I want this bottom peg to be somewhere around your ear. I want it to be kind of a pain. I want it to get caught in your earring if you're a girl and in your hair. And that's when you know the height is good. It's not rocket science, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but now I can tell you this cello is a little small for me because I'm using a size that you would use. But for me, the end pin would be if I stretched out my thumb and my pinky and then added a couple of inches, for me that's about perfect. And every day when you take your end pin in and out, you're gonna actually change it up just a hair and sooner or later, you'll know what feels good. I don't want your scroll, that's here, and your peg way up here, and I don't want it way down here, right here next to your ear, so that when you play with your hand, it's kind of next to your face. That's how to set up your cello to play. You'll have a lot more videos to follow. Now, once you're done practicing every day, I want you to put your cello back in your case. The end pin always goes back in. This is a magnet to be tripped over if you lay your cello down. Speaking of laying your cello down, you will always lay it on its side. You will not ever lay it on its back, and you certainly will never ever lay it on its front. This bridge is very, very fragile. It's not glued on, it can move, it can break. So, when you're not playing, put the case back on and either lay it on its side over against the wall or maybe we could set it up against in a corner where it will be very very stable and won't trip anybody <laughs> i hope that helps you all and i can't wait to see you at your first concert 